Hey everyone, it's the one and only Magnificent Bird Buckbeak speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm back at it with another character review. And this character review will be on the brand new Gold Rush character of Gold Rush Ella. Or Elaine, I'm not sure, but I'm going to call her Ella. It looks more like Ella than Elaine. But anyway, yes, she is part of the Gold Rush. And sometime after this video, I will be having my Gold Rush pulls for Gold Mythic Ella also coming up pretty soon. Maybe within a day or so. But anyway, before we get started... If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And feel free to leave a comment down below and share this video if you want to as well. If you do any of those four things, that would be much appreciated by me. And I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there and staying cool out there I'm doing good and I'm staying safe and I'm staying cool out there and I just want to say real quick prayers to all of those that are dealing with a tropical storm barrel that are having to deal with that right now hopefully all of y'all that happen to unfortunately be in his path hopefully all of y'all got out all right but anyway, um, let's not delay this any further. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Ella Typhoon. Her trait is tough. Her role is support. And her allegiance is a member of Typhoon, of the Typhoon Allegiance. Now let's take a look at her stats. Her attack stat is 33,083. Her defense is 13,785. And her HP is 22,055. Let's take a look at her adrenaline rush. Texan Archer. The recharge rate is 66 AP. This fighter gets Guardian Shield, attack an enemy for 500% damage, plus one attack for each daze or impair on the target. All adjacent teammates get Camouflage for three turns. So, the fact that Ella is getting Guardian Shield, that's actually pretty good. I will say that that is a positive plus she's gonna be dealing 500% damage to an enemy plus one attack for each daze or impair on the target now I'm pretty sure her specialist skill has something has something to do with dazing enemies I'm pretty sure but I'm not really sure where the impair is coming in at. I don't know. Maybe it's on her weapon or something. Or maybe it's a part of her mythic abilities. I don't know. We'll get there. But the fact that she's going to get one attack for each daze or impair on the target. That's actually going to be quite nice. Now, is it like the best thing ever? No. You got to keep in mind, she is a Gold Rush tune, so I'm not sure how well this is going, you know, on paper it sounds really, really great, but it might not be all that effective once people pull for her. I mean, I don't know, because many of the Gold Rush tunes are not really fantastic. There's only a small handful of Gold Rush tunes that are actually quite useful. Like, for example, Locke. He's 
still pretty useful even though he's a gold rush tune uh lock lethal lydia is pretty good um krista and then i think that's about it like it's like two or three of them that are actually very useful all the rest of them are not all that useful in my opinion so will Ella be a v pretty useful tune or will she just be a part of the pack of gold mythics that aren't really that good I don't know time will tell and then on top of her either you know dazing or you know attacking an additional time on the target for each day is her impair she's also handing out camouflage for all the adjacent teammates for three turns which again counter damage reduction is definitely way better but camouflage definitely helps deal with payback and vengeance tunes it doesn't entirely stop that payback and vengeance damage but it helps reduce it so if for whatever reason if for whatever reason you don't have a normalizer or if you don't have counter damage reduction on a lead skill and camouflage is your only way to help deal with those things it won't be a bad thing but I would definitely work on trying to get Philip Blake or Anniversary Maggie or, you know, Eva and Ghost, who's free to play right now. You know, they are definitely better ways to deal with those situations than camouflage. But if you have to deal with camouflage, it won't be a bad thing. But we'll see. Let's move on to her signature move. Weakness exploit, attack an enemy for 500% damage, and the initial cooldown is turn one, two turns for the cooldown, number of uses unlimited. I forgot that part, my bad. Attack an enemy for 500% damage, or if the target has impair, attack them for 1,000 1,100% damage and they get normalized for two turns instead so okay again I have a question here attacking an enemy for 500% damage is not bad but where's the impair coming in at unless it's in her mythic abilities I don't know we're gonna get there but this is both good and bad because like what if you can never have a like with this character specifically what if there's no way for Ella to impair a target then that second part is going to be it's going to be kind of useless so I mean Ella could be she has the potential to be pretty good but she might turn out to be pretty disappointing I know Lily Cole, she was very disappointing. Yeah. She absolutely sucks. Yeah, Lily Cole, yeah. Lily Cole, she was a Gold Rush tune, and that's not a surprise, and that's not a compliment. So, Ella potentially might be heading down the Lily Cole path, where on paper she looks like she could do something, but she could end up being the stereotypical yeah she's a gold rush tune but that's not a positive when you say that so we'll see but if you can impair the target uh attack them for over 1000 percent damage plus they will get normalized for two turns that's going to be really good if you can get a way to impair a certain target I don't know how that'll go down, but let's see if we can find out. Let's take a look at her mythic abilities. Cunning. When attacking or being attacked, 30% less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects and walker effects. Not really going to spend a whole lot of time talking about this. You should go ahead and level up Cunning 
as you should be doing that with all of your support tunes anyway if you have the resources to do so. Go for blood. At the start of each wave, this fighter gets camouflage and 100% attack down resistance for three turns. This fighter's attacks deal 60% more damage against enemies with bleed. Okay, so I don't know. So I'm not sure if there's a way. Let me just double... Okay, there's nothing about bleed so far on this tune, so if there's a way to make enemies bleed with this character or any other character, that's gonna, that potentially could be really good, so I don't know if I would jump into leveling that one up right away, but I, I mean, it's something to think about. We'll see. Fear the arrow when attacking, 60% chance to impair the target for two turns. Okay, I was wondering where the impair was coming in at, and yes. So, it seems like the impair is going to be coming from her mythic abilities. So, honestly, I think I would definitely level up Fear the Arrow because you can take advantage of the second part of her signature move, which I think is going to be the best part of her signature move without a doubt, because you can normalize a certain target. Say, for example, if you hit Peacekeeper, if you don't get wiped out, you can normalize him for two turns. I'm just saying, I'm using him as an example. That's going to be really good. So, Fear the Arrow, I would definitely level up. Flinched Skill, when attacking, 60% chance this fighter heals 60% of their max HP and stuns the target for one turn. Okay, that potentially, you know, I think I would level that one up because, like... Why not give yourself a chance with this tune to heal and stun a target for a turn? I know it's only for a turn, but that one turn could definitely make the difference. Could make a difference in a certain battle. So, yeah, that one would be worth leveling up. So let's take a look at her specialist skill, Hid Cracker. When this fighter performs a critical attack on a target, that target will be dazed for two turns and this fighter recovers from all penalties. Okay, so Headcracker, yeah, this is a special skill we haven't seen in a long while. I believe the last tune that had Headcracker was, um, there was a St. Patrick's Day uh, Abraham from last year I believe he was the last tune to have this specialist skill which in my opinion I didn't use that Abraham enough but it didn't when I used him it didn't seem to work all that great maybe for Ella maybe it'll be different who knows we'll look at her weapon in a minute and determine maybe maybe there's some crit possibility with Ella so if you can definitely get her to crit, Headcracker is going to be it's going to be pretty good. It absolutely is. Not many tunes have Headcracker. The St. Patrick's Day Abraham Ella and I think Victoria are the only tunes that have Headcracker. So let's take a look at her weapon. Ella's deadly bow and arrow, 40% attack. 45 crit bleeding when attacking a better chance to cause 4.5% of this fighter's attack stat in bleed damage for 4 turns to the enemy improved attack damage boost attacks deal 35% damage and they ignore defense bonuses so okay the fourth slot is going to be really good because, you know, coming up against those really tanky tunes, 
she's going to be able to ignore those defense bonuses and just attack and it won't really you know she they won't sh they won't be able to absorb the hit like they normally would but is Ella the right tune to have that weapon I mean that makes her weapon not totally trash the one thing that potentially I don't we'll have to see but the third slot I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of iffy on I'm you know bleed uh, only not even 5% of her attack stat um, for four turns to the target. I mean, she does have a passive where she can apply more bleed, so I don't know. Maybe you can uh, make it work for this exception with her weapon. Plus, she's got 45 crit. It, honestly, I don't know if I would... For the mods, I might go crit set. That way you have a better chance to make her crit. That way she has a better chance to daze targets, impair targets, you know. Especially taking advantage of headcracker. So, this one, I might level up her crit just a bit. Maybe go 50 crit, 50 attack, or you could go fully uh, 55 crit and do that, I guess. Um, I don't know if I would go all in on the attack. I would try to level that crit up a little bit. Maybe 50 crit, um, 50, 50 attack, 50 crit, or 55 crit. Um, you know, the third slot, I would say normally I would maybe swap it out for something else, but with her kit, I might actually leave it to see the potential of the, uh, bleed totals you can get. Let's see, which one is it? So, okay, so right here, go for blood. She will deal 60% more damage against enemies with bleed, so... The, the bleed for four turns to a certain target, that actually might work out in her favor. And it actually might make her a little bit better than she normally would be. So, yeah, I would go for maybe 50 crit, 50 attack, or 55 crit, something like that. Because what I'm thinking here is you want to be able to get her to crit, right? And also take advantage of making her mods crit set. That way she has a better chance of getting her specialist skill to go off. That way she can be dazing people left and right potentially. So, uh, so far I'm not like, I'm not like super amazed by her just yet, but, um, she potentially could be better than Lily Call. If you set her up right, for sure. Um, you know, I like her look. It's very simple. Hey, nothing wrong with being an archer, especially in the apocalypse. That's actually a very useful skill to have, even outside of the apocalypse. But having that type of skill in the apocalypse is even more important. Now... What are your thoughts on Gold Mythic Ella? Are you planning on pulling for her in the Gold Rush? Or are you planning on skipping her? And if you have any other thoughts on Gold Mythic Ella, feel free to let me know down below. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. Or, if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome, and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buck Beak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.